Hey, how's it going? My name is David from The Digital Essentialist. We are gonna go through a few tools that I use when I build Squarespace websites. These things have saved me tons of time and I hope they can save you time as well. Let's get into this. So the first thing is going to be Adobe Color. Now, Adobe Color is a really powerful tool. There's a few things you could use in here that I find very valuable. What you do when you get in here is say you have one specific color that you absolutely love um, and you're not a font, uh, color expert. So you just go to the center here and type in the color. It's gonna be a light gray. And what it does is it gives you these options of color harmony. So there's a whole collection here of different things you could go through to kind of see like what feels right for you. But basically there's, there's some options of choice that allow you to go beyond just maybe your two favorite colors. Also, as you go through this, you can also go to explore and they have a search feature. So you could go look here, see some colors you like. Let's do this. Let's say we really like this one. You can click ed edit copy. And as soon as you click edit copy, it gives you the colors right here. Now you have this color palette and you have all the hex codes. And then when you get into Squarespace, you could use these codes to set up buttons, set up different elements of your website. Um, let's try it now. I had a test site, ABC Marketing. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so in your website, you could do this. You could go to Design, Site Styles, and say you want to change the footer of your website to be a specific color. Well, let's say we like this color. Basically, what I did was highlight this hex code, uh, and then copy it, and go to the website. It's loading, and click on the footer. Once you click on it, it says background color. Click on that little color wheel, highlight this, and then paste the color. Boom, you just added the color. Now you could integrate everything else. This text is black, so it's hard to see, but you have full control to just integrate things just that easily and quickly. So um, now you have this whole color wheel at your disposal, and the colors are saved there, so you can use the same exact hex codes over and over and over again. The guys at Creative Squeeze, another Squarespace team, uh, showed me this tool, and I actually love this tool a lot. So I'm gonna download this tool with you and show you, show you the process. Font Face Ninja, that's what it's called. Okay, so you go into the Chrome store, you download this, add to Chrome, it's gonna pop up up here, add extension. Okay, you see that little ninja right there? That ninja is gonna save the day. So let me click save and get out of this editing mode and show you, I already know these fonts because this is my website, but you can basically go to any website. Let me do this actually, let me just go to Apple. That's even cooler. So Apple, just say you wanna know more about the fonts on this page, you just click on the little ninja. You could bookmark up to 10 fonts for free, but what this does is it literally tells you everything about the font as you hover over it. So as I hover over this, it tells me it's the SF Pro, SF is obviously Apple's font, but SF Pro display, right here, SF Pro display, and then it tells you a bunch of key information about the, the, the font. Size of the text, spacing, the line height, um, spacing between the text, and then also the color. So when you get into, let's say, this is, they don't use full black, they use 11111. And the size is 27, line, uh, line height is 31, no spacing between the letters, boom, and this is their regular font at size 27. Okay, great. And where's their buy button? Okay, this blue, look at the blue. The, you get full, full coverage of, of what they're doing on their website, which is just so cool. So you could do this with any site. You just click the ninja. When you're done, you click the ninja again. He goes away, comes back, there it goes. Font Ninja, it's free. Uh, and then you could save up to 10 fonts for free in your like little account or database or whatever. Okay, the next one is gonna be two different websites for Icon. So the first one is Noun Project, and the second one is Flat Icon. There's probably 20 websites that have this. I would recommend Flat Icon if you're looking for simple icons uh, to add to your website. So say you're looking for a strategy icon. Well, rather than having to build it, you could either create an account with this, this website and pay for it and then be able to put it on your site for free, or you just basically um, at the bottom of your site, say you're using icons from the website. It's so simple. In any case, you could you could get it for either free or really cheap. 
So say you like this icon. Say you like this icon, you want to put it on your website. This is my recommendation, PNG, and then the max size is 128. You could even add your own color. So say that color we had before, you could paste it in there, the blue, boom, it's ours. And then you click 128. Now it gives you these two options. You either pay 750 a month or you get a free download and you credit the author. So here is how you credit the author. It shows you how to do that. But you click free download, you got it, boom, it's there. You can now use that for your site. I recommend Noun Project if you are actually looking for potentially a logo as well. Their icons and designs are really beautiful. Um, they're a little, they have a deeper process. So say, for instance, you want, let's say, this icon. So you click on it, it says, get this icon. Okay, you have to have an account. I have an account, log in. There we go. Okay, then it gives you these two options, pro download, 299 royalty free license, or basic, you do basic. It's gonna put this little tag at the bottom so it's a little more complicated. You can't change the color. Uh, and then what are you gonna use it for? You just select basically anything. Choose, okay, what kind of file do you want? PNG or SVG? PNG, again, you don't get choice of size here. It doesn't really give you. So I, I typically download the SVG and then take it into Photoshop or Illustrator and then make the adjustments. But uh, let me just click that and download it. So it's a little bit more work. And then actually when you see this one, they, they tag it down here. So you'd have to literally cut that tag off. There's a few ways to do this. If you highlight this and hit Command K on your keyboard, it'll crop it. You can then save that, close it, boom. Okay, so those are icons. Overall recommendation again, Noun Project has a lot more, let's say design beautiful icons you could find. And then Flat Icon has tons of options and are really easy to download and literally put into your site um, within a moment. And the cost is so, so affordable. And if you just want to tag it and not even pay for it, it's like, it's not a big deal. People seriously will not stress over that, especially if you're just starting your site. So next one is, this was one of my favorite tools. When you're building a website, you need inspiration. I was so sad to see that this is like, as of today, I don't know what's happening, but when you go to Landbook, it's like not working. Uh, remove gallery, it just isn't working. So what Landbook was, was a place of hundreds of beautiful websites where you get inspiration as you're designing a website. This is really amazing because it offers a lot of inspiration. Now, a lot of these sites are gonna be very custom and very specific to the business, and there's gonna be some animations or some things that you're not gonna be able to duplicate in Squarespace, but that's not why we use it. We use it because you need inspiration to create. Uh, it is a basic, basic thing. So when you're going through the, the process of creating your site, it's really important to kind of look at some pages, see what they're doing. How does it look? How does it feel? And then kind of see, I like that. I like that. Um, let's try something like this and keeping it simple. Even taglines and, and headlines, not to copy, but to, to inspire you to think differently beyond what just in the back of your head. It gives you a lot of options. The last one is, at least for this video, the last one will be Squarespace Code Block Identifier. Super fancy name, but basically if you just type into Google Squarespace Code Block Identifier Extension, there's this tool. Now this is for what I call the pro. This becomes really, really useful. This tool is free, add to Chrome, add extension. Now you won't notice that you need this until you get into it, but say for instance, I have a bunch of sections on this page right here, and I just want this specific section to have a certain feature. So say I want it to have a border. So when you want to make this adjustment, what you do is you click design, uh, and then you go to custom CSS. There's actually probably two or three places where you could add this, but this is one way to do it. You kind of make a note, say home page about section. And then what you do is basically that note is whatever you want it to be, and you just put these two lines here to, to make the note so it doesn't show up on the site. Now what you do is just click the B, the new extension you just downloaded, and what it does is it starts throwing all these weird numbers and text on your screen. Now the collection at the top is the entire page. The block right here is basically the separation of each block. So this is a text block. This block right here is a button, and this is its unique code. 
So right here, we have this text block, uh, and we want to put, say, code, or, or we want to put a border around it. We just click on it, and then I'm going to get rid of it so it's easier to see. Now, there's going to be a border here around this, because this is separate text. Put that there, and then what you do, let me show you. So again, you just put these two lines, and then you can type whatever you want here. Whatever you want. As long as it's gray, you know it's not going to show up. Then you just paste the block here, as I did. And the next thing you do is just put uh, the open bracket. And what it does is it does the other side. Click enter. And then border style solid. Close it. Boom. There's a border. Now you just created a border just like that. It's so, so simple and it's only going to be around this one text block. So it's so easy, so straightforward. Um, if you want to do it with the whole text, there's other ways, there's so many things. But basically what I want to show you is as long as you confine the code block, it makes it so much easier. The other way of doing that is clicking inspect and then this inspection thing opens and then you're looking for the code block which is like this number here as you can see. There's the code block, and then you got to find it, and then do it, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot there. This simplifies that process a lot, especially when you're creating a site. That's not critical or key. If you don't understand that, or that seems a little complex, don't worry. Just get started on your site. You'll be good to go. So for now, those are a few tools that I use when I'm building a site that simplify the process. I know there's probably more out there. If you have any that you love while you build a Squarespace site, let me know. I would love to see them. If it helps me save time, I would love that. In any case, have a great day. And if you have any questions, let me know. See you guys next time.